All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is a video I have been looking forward to making for quite a bit of time. Uh, this is about three years in the making. Uh, did a lot of research, a lot of purchasing, a lot of trialing, a lot of getting rid of stuff and getting new stuff, all for this purpose, for this TA trip, to be able to take the best and lightest equipment that I can afford, that I can work with. And so I wanna share that uh, with you, um, my gear video for the TA. This is what I'm gonna be taking. All right, so we'll start with the big stuff first. So this is the Six Moon Design Swift V backpack. It's new for me. It's a 50 liter backpack, a little smaller than what I've been carrying with the Gospel gear. I will be given a review of this by the time I finish the TA. I've been out a few times with it already. I like it, smaller. Um, I think it's gonna, it's more sturdy. So I think it'd be good for New Zealand uh, backcountry type of stuff that we go through. Um, I have a Gossamer gear thin pad that will work. It kind of slides down the back of my backpack and uh, also be underneath my mat in the tent just to keep it from sliding around. My enlightened equipment Enigma um, quilt that's had a little bit of stuffing added to it by Kiwi Ultralight here in New Zealand. And I love the quilt. Um, I just don't like sleeping bags. They're too, they're too uh, yeah, claustrophobic. Then I come over here and here is what I'll be wearing every day. So start with this. So I have a long sleeve shirt from Hunt Tech. I love the Hunt Tech shirts. They dry out quickly. A pair of New Balance shorts with the liner in them. Darn tough socks. This hat that I've had forever. I don't like the hat, but I can't find a hat that I like better. So it keeps the sun off me and that's what I'll keep doing. Um, the Topo Terra Venture 3. Man, I love these shoes. I have tried Oboes. I've tried Ultra. I've tried Hoka. Uh, speed goats and these Terra Venture 3, they're just great, great shoes. I changed the sole out uh, to Super Feet soles, but uh, I've got four pair of these ready to go. That'll take me all the way from the top to the bottom of New Zealand. A pair of sun gloves, I just got uh, off some little cheap place in New uh, off uh, the web. And then this little guy, um, this is kind of a strange thing, not many people need it, but when I walked across Spain, I injured one of my toes, and so now I have uh, what I call my Spock toe. And so you know, it's kind of like the, the Spock reading. So I put this between the toes to keep them spread out a little bit so I don't get blisters in between them. Then I got my Lucky Trekkie, Lucky, not Lucky, but Lucky Trekking Poles with some duct tape around the top uh, for repairs along the way. And that's what I'll be wearing every day when I'm out hiking. Then this is the clothing that I'll be carrying. Uh, looks like a lot, but it packs down pretty close, uh, pretty, pretty small. So it'll all go in this um, Six Moon Design bag that came with my backpack. That's a watertight bag, um, so it'll keep everything dry even on the wettest of days. And then what I'll be carrying in, in that will be um, a backpack puffy. Not the lightest, not the smallest, but I've had this for years and I love it. Keeps me nice and warm. Um, not, in, not in this bag, but I'll also be carrying this. This is the backpack um, Traverse a raincoat. I have tried raincoats. I've tried several different raincoats. Again, not the lightest, but man, it does a great job for keeping you warm, but also keeping you dry. Really love that raincoat. Back to what I'm going to be carrying in the dry bag. So I've got the puffy and then I've got the Quia uh, hoodie mid layer. It's a really nice warm uh, mid layer for me. I've got a pair of thermal longs that I'll wear. A pair of gloves. Um, these are like keeping your hands warm, but you can see there's a pocket um, that this little plastic part comes out. So it also works as a rain glove as well. Really kind of a nice design there. Over here I have a um, pair of uh, camp socks and then another pair of hiking socks, pair of undies, a t-shirt to wear, a pair of shorts. And then something I've just started doing recently, I've got a couple of the spandex leg warmers there um i got them mainly to keep the sun off of me but also keep bugs off me around camp so i have two pair one i'll probably use for hiking and the other i'll keep around camp a couple of these guys these are for my knees i have patellar tendonitis that flares up every once in a while especially going downhill so i'll carry these two straps with me um, then i have the pack towel large towel and this is a towel that um, I'll use like when I'm in town if I'm taking a shower and they don't have a towel. I'll use this um, I've got a um, What are those things called? Yeah, the, the 
neck warmer things, you know, the gator, the neck gator type of stuff. Got that. And then this. Oh, Love-hate relationship. These are rain trousers that I carry with me in Spain. I've taken with me on some hikes. I never wear them when I'm hiking because they're just so hot and nasty. But on really cold nights, these have worked really well to keep me warm when I'm sleeping. So I'll carry these. Don't know if they'll make it all the way down uh, to the South Island, all the bottom of the South Island. We'll, have, we'll give that a check. And then I've got the Croc knockoffs. You know, you got to have the Crocs uh, for around camp and he's also around town. Uh, buff. That's what that's called. A buff. Thank you very much. That's the All Blacks buff too that I've used quite a bit. All right. So that's the clothes that I'll be taking. And now let's, uh, we'll go over to all the other gear that I have. So we start with the Durston X-Mid Pro 2 tent. Love this tent. Really good. Super light tent. Got the tent stakes plus some extra paracord there with it. Um, nice little cheap sit pad so I can stay it's relatively wide and dry when I'm wanting to sit. Um, I've got the Thermarest X-Therm Next sleeping pad. This is the new one that's come out this year. It's a new kind of fabric. It's nice and thick. It's good and warm. Love this. Um, and here's the stuff sack plus the uh, the puffy, you know, you, you blow into that and blow this up so you're not blowing your air directly into the pad. Really nice. Really happy with that pad. I've got the Sea to Summit pillow that my wife sewed an elastic strap on the back of it so that I am able to attach that to the um, the pad at night and not chase my pillow all over uh, the night when I'm in the tent. Then I've got the CD Summit 20 liter dry bag. This is what I use to put my food in. I'm not so concerned about the dry bag, but it's a nice size and uh, I use that, take that shopping with me. And that's what I put my food in. Then I've got some uh, just miscellaneous stuff. So a pair of sunglasses. I've got a notebook, my diary, I'll keep track of what I'm doing, and a pen. I've got the Gerber armbar knife, which is all it has is just a knife plus a pair of scissors on it. It's all I really need. A thermometer, and then uh, I'll carry this with me, my driver's license, an FPOS credit card, and cash. Then, um, of course, I've got the good old poop kit. Um, got the dig, dig trowel that I'll be using to dig cat holes. Um, man, some of the videos I've been watching to get ready for this, people are just not digging holes, and that's nasty, folks. Um, we got to dig the holes, and I'll be using the dunnies as much as I can, but if I've got an emergency, I'm digging a hole, so that's the poop kit, the toilet paper, and hand sanitizer, and then my watering system. If you've watched my videos, you know I really struggle with dehydration. So I have worked on all kinds of different systems, and this is what I'm going to be going with. It really works well now. So I'll be carrying just a little 600 milliliter bottle on the backpack a strap on the chest strap, easy to get to. I'll have one of these on the side and the TA has a lot of water on it. That should be plenty. I can keep filling up along as I go. And then here I have the VersaFlow uh, water filter. I love this much better than the Sawyer stuff. There's no little parts to lose. I have ripped off the uh, Sawyer cleaning plunger to, to kind of backwash the filter when it gets clogged up. And then I've got a CNOC or CANOC, I've seen it pronounced different ways, a two liter bag. So most of the time when I'm on the TA, that will be plenty. I'll have access to water all the time. There are a couple of places on the North and South Islands where you have some longer water carries. And so what I'll do when I'm ready for those is I'll just buy another one of these bottles. So that's two and a half liters, a little over three liters, and I can even fill this up. And that makes five liters of water that I'm carrying. Not crazy about doing it because that's five kgs of water that I'd be carrying, but I'd rather carry the extra weight than get dehydrated again. All right, so that's all that. And then finally, we come over. Hopefully, the uh, reflection won't mess this up too much. But this is all my, my little bag stuff that I'm carrying. So let's just walk through this. This is, first of all, I'm calling this my rescue uh, or safety bag. So it's in a nice heavy duty sandwich bag thing. And what I have in here is, first of all, uh, medication. So a lot of ibuprofen, some Imodium, uh, some Compede, some plasters. So that's my uh, repair stuff. Then I've got um, in this bag, there's a little mesh screen repair kit for the tent. And then also a repair field kit for the, the pad, the sleeping pad, if I need it. I'll also be carrying a spare box of matches with me. A couple of fire starters, some tenacious tape, really strong tape if the duct tape isn't working. 
And this is my sewing kit. So I got a nice needle plus um, it's got the, dent, the dental floss. That'll be what I use to make repairs. A couple more of those toe spacers because these things don't last forever. And then this is a little gas bottle adapter that I can take gas from one, um, uh, one of those tall skinny gas bottles and put it in the normal ones that you use for cooking. And then the head net. I've used this already down on the South Island. I know I'll use it again for those, those nasty little sand flies, but that will be with me the whole time as well. And then I've got my toiletry bag over here. So what I've got is that eight clothes pins and uh, four safety pins in here. Um, I've got, um, yeah, the teeth flosser because I'm always getting the dried meat stuck between my teeth and I hate carrying that with me. I've got some rash cream here, gurney goo stuff. Yes, this is a toothbrush. I'm not sure how long it'll last, uh, but I'm going to try it out and see what happens. A little razor just for in town, kind of shave up the face so I'm not looking old and raggy. Uh, nail clippers, um, some nasal inhaler. Hopefully it'll help me a little bit with the snoring issues. Obviously chapstick. Um, soap for showers in town, um, earplugs, toothpaste tabs. Then I've got here, I've got uh, the sunscreen. I'll come back to those in a minute. This is good stuff. This is good goodbye sand fly repellent. It's natural repellent. I've used it already. The stuff works great. Highly recommend it. You can buy it uh, online from them directly, or you can also get in Torpedo 7. And then this is some interesting stuff here. I'm trying this out. So this is um, to, um, to to take over the um, you know the dehydration type of stuff. Uh, so it's a mineral drop you add to the water rather than the powder that I normally carry. And then these are this is B vitamin stuff for energy. Again, instead of the tablets that I normally take, I'm trying this liquid. Drop it under the tongue, and these a uh, lot smaller and a lot lighter than what I would normally be taking. All right, so that's my toiletries that I have. And then I come over to my cooking stuff. So I have the Tokes 600 milliliter pot that I've been using for a long time. My cooking pot, my drinking pot, everything, just the one pot. A, um, the reflector from your car windows that you use, you know, when you try and keep the sun off your dashboard. Uh, so that's like a thermal thing that I can keep in there, keep the pot and keep it a little bit warmer when I'm trying to cook it. It's also easier to hold when I'm eating. Then I've got this made out of that same reflector stuff. It kind of works like a, an oven mitt, so I can lift this pot up and not burn my delicate little fingers. Uh, of course, the gas bottle, uh, lighter, the MSR pocket rocket. Love this, works really well. Folding spoon, a dishcloth, and then the strap that holds this down when I got everything else inside of it. And then finally, I have, whew, the electronics bag. This is heavy. Um, it's not necessary, but it's stuff that I'm taking because I do want to record this trip. And so I'm happy to carry the weight. And so it's a lot of stuff that I'll work through what I have. So first of all, my Garmin watch and the cable that, that charges it up. This has the GPX files. This will be my backup system for navigating if for some reason my phone stops working. Um, I have a couple of Nightcore 10,000 milliamp uh, batteries uh, for some of those longer carries where you don't get to charge those batteries up. Um, for the GoPro, I have five spare batteries plus the one in the GoPro. GoPro bat I love GoPro, but man, the batteries just don't last long. They last me about a day, maybe a day and a half at the most. So I've got all those batteries, plus I've got this charger. It's not a GoPro, it's Telesyn, but it charges three batteries at a time. Um, so that's coming with me as well. The Anchor wall charger, I read that's one of the best wall chargers you can get for when you're charging things up in town. Um, I've got my memory cards and the memory card adapter, the memory card reader that I will use to transfer the videos from a GoPro to my phone so I can do the editing. A couple of cables to charge the batteries. Uh, I've got an iPhone 12, so it's still going to have that old system, so I have to carry, carry that cable to charge the battery on the phone. Um, Earplugs for when I'm doing the video editing. I've got the Petzl uh, headlamp. Love this headlamp. I've had it for a number of years. Uh, good three bright settings plus the red light setting for when you're walking around at night. Really good system. Um, and then I've got a special cable to charge this up plus charge my Garmin Mini that I carry with me. Then I've got the iPhone 12 that will do all my navigating 
and um, you know all that kind of stuff, editing all that. And then this is something I wear around my neck. It's the snap uh, mount system that um, yeah it, it just holds the what I have, and I'll show you that in a moment. What I use for my GoPro and the tripod that I have with it. Here's the GoPro system that I use. You probably won't get to see this very often because I'll most often be recording from this. But this is the GoPro 9 Black. It worked for me. I don't have any problems with it, so I keep it. I got a couple of fuzzies on the microphones for wind noise. And then it's attached to a GoPro. Um, th this extends out. Uh, GoPro, and it's a tripod also. And then I have the snap mount system that what it does is it gets connected to the lanyard around me, and then that just kind of sits on my chest uh, when I'm hiking. So that's what I'll be using to record most of the time when I am uh, out hiking. That's the gear that I have. Now I'm going to put it all in backpack to show you that it all fits. And then on top of all of this, I'll give you my base weight plus everything weight minus the water and food, because I obviously that'll change almost every single day. And uh, then we'll go from there. All right, I packed my backpack, didn't take that long. And this is what I have. This is everything in the backpack except food and the water um, and the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing. So I'll show you almost everything has gone inside the backpack. And this is a roll top, which gives me more room for food. So it can kind of come up that much higher. Um, on the outside, I got the sit pad, my shoes, the water bottle thermometer another water bottle this um this backpack has a running uh, chest plate uh, chest straps so it's got some pockets that can put stuff so i got like a chapstick in there i um, got my garmin mini and headphones there i'll put my phone in this pocket right here um, i forgot to show you this earlier this is also another pack towel smaller towel that i use on the outside for the sweat um, in this side here side pocket i got like my headlamp knife my other stuff um, and then over here I've got my water um, filter stuff and the trowel and then um, in the front pocket which to me is always should be called the back pocket but that's front pack I got my raincoat in here so everything fits and uh, now we're gonna give it away to see what this weighs with everything and then I'll give my base weight at the end Okay, here is the weight of my backpack. Everything in it except food and water. 8.8 kgs. I'm very happy with 8.8 kgs. Now I've taken all the consumables out. So that's anything that might get used up over time, like the gas bottle, tooth tab, stuff like that. And uh, of course, there's no food and water. Everything that I'll be carrying on or in my pack. And the base weight is 7.72 kgs. Not ultralight, but lightweight. I'm happy with that. That's my gear video. So my base weight, 7.72 kgs. Um, when I walked across Spain, I carried 7 kgs. That was including water. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with 7.7 .7 for walking on the length of New Zealand. And then uh, everything but food and water, 8 point, was 8.8. .8. Um, that's not bad. I'm pretty happy. By the time I add food and water, that's probably about another 4 to 5 kgs. So 13, 14 kgs on a really full backpack. Um, not as comfortable, but very doable. All right, so that's the gear video. Again, um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them below and I'll try to answer those as soon as I possibly can. But uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I imagine the next video that I'll be doing will be on the TA. All right, see you then.